It's that time of the show when we're joined by style guru, colour expert and one-time modeller of boiler suits, Anna Morley. Welcome. Thank you very much, Laura, and thank you for the boiler suit shout out. <laughs> no problem. So every week you're going to be here with our beautiful colour wheel. I hope so, yes. Well, unless we sack you. A bit awkward. Okay. Um, so we're going to spin and then pick the colour for the next week's show. So last week we spun and what was the colour? It was forest green. So what we're going to do, I'm going to give you quick fire questions about green. Okay. So describe forest green in three words. Forest green in three words, I would say is rejuvenating, healing and calming. So what kind of colours does forest green work really well with? Well, if it works really well as a classic combination of using white actually. It's just really clean and classic. Also works really well with all metallics, so um, not wishing to uh, highlight. Oh, hello, wing tips. So metallics actually work really get well against it, and it gives a sophisticated edge. But it will work with brass, with copper, with gold, really, you know, silver. Every every metallic it will work with. So which rooms of the house should we think about using forest green in? So using it in the house, I think the best rooms it works in is the bedroom because it's got that calming quality, and also the living room. And any rooms where we shouldn't be using dark green? Do you know, there's a, there's a few colours out there that maybe you would steer away from, but I think green is really quite comfortable in most spaces. I think it's just how you pair it. Lots of people do have white ceilings and white, and white woodwork, so actually it contrasts against that really, really well. So you can probably use it in most rooms. If I've got sort of up to £40 pounds yeah. and I want to dip my toe in to yeah. dark green, yeah. what's the, the thing I should go out and buy? If you've got around £40, pounds, I would definitely say go and get some plants. They'll just bring the colour in and they'll bring the outdoors in. And you don't have to go for real plants, not everyone's green fingered, you can go for faux plants. Like our beautiful bamboo? It's not faux, is it? <laughs> Isn't it? You knew that. Hello. <laughs> yes. Uh, a bit like the bamboo. In fact, the bamboo is pretty good, isn't it? So yeah, you get some really, really good faux foliage now. I like green a little bit more than just having it in foliage. So what could I spend that's sort of around 100, 150 quid that's really going to bring forest green in and make a bit of an impact? You get some really nice footstools at the moment. Uh, there's quite a lot around, so you've got a bit of choice. You know, obviously a footstool is a great thing. It will give a pop of this colour, but also it, it's practical. So you can put your cup of tea on it, put your magazine down on it. Or even your feet and you can get some velvet ones. Some have metallic bases, so it kind of actually pulls those two trends in together. Perfect, so if we really, really love forest green and we want to invest a bit more money in it, what's the piece or the item that we should buy that's gonna make a real statement? Well, the nice thing which we keep seeing over and over is people using it in their kitchens. The cabinet fronts can be changed kind of easily. They can be changed quite cheaply if you want to just do the fronts, or we can obviously go for a whole new kitchen using the marble, lots of people have marble worktops against the green and it looks striking. Um, you can then introduce your metallics as well with the door handles. The other thing of course is you can use paint so you can get a big area. It will really give a really cocooning, lovely feel, like a very sophisticated feel to your room. And I guess if you sort of want to combine the two, you could paint your kitchen cupboards rather than having yeah. to replace the doors. Absolutely. You can do it yeah. yourself and get quite a good finish doing that. Absolutely, can't you? lots of people do that now, and and then they just upgrade on top of that with the with the handles and create a whole new look, kind of inexpensively. I think it's time to spin and find out where we're going next Let's, time. Yes. Would you like to do the honours? I would love to. Dusky pink. Wow. So I've got that colour in my little girl's bedroom. Gorgeous. So I'm very interested how you take it from nursery teddy bears yeah. to being sophisticated in the rest of the house. Definitely do that, yes. So next episode, if you're as interested as I am, stay tuned. Thank you, Anna. Don't forget your boiler suit next time. Thank you, I won't. We'll see you then. <laughs>